Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope it doesn't go. Right. Oh, oh boy. We're screwed. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's Plumes of Hazard. We got a full house tonight. I'm Mass Blast on and these are my co-hosts. Understudy 77, right, uh, and the uh, Angel right. Vapor. Slash of farts. Uh, ah, present the night, biatches. Perfect. Wait, did Perfect. Angsty just say something? Oh, no. That is not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Master already got that joke in. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Hello, no, everybody. No, 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 no. You know, so, yeah, it's been a while since I got to present. This is kind of exciting. It's yeah. it's funny when you when you said that about um about you know getting getting booted uh YouTube. Um what two days ago or a day ago we were I was in the uh in one of the uh, discords and they were watching uh dr pennsylvania walk around e3 or dr disrespect man or whatever and the dude goes in the bathroom four times while live streaming and twitch freaking kicked them off this, this sure. dude had sixty three thousand people watching this live stream and he decides to go in bathrooms at e3 no nah, like funny. what that is not yeah, good and apparently I mean, he, you took the stream people. into the bathroom? Yes, to get the streams. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. He took the stream to get the stream. Yes. And the problem is, is that there were underage kids in there. Yeah. Uh, California is like the worst state about you will you expect privacy in a bathroom. So pretty much every person that was in that bathroom can sue the shit out of them. I, I don't think you can say it's the worst state because that's a pretty good policy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say in general, I think I expect privacy in a bathroom. Like if somebody walked in with a fucking camera that was streaming to Twitch, I think I'd be pretty upset. Yeah, and like everybody was just sitting there looking at it like no it's big okay. deal. I'm an IRL streamer. IRL streamer. I do have IRL a feeling streamer. that my response would not be to get angry. I have a feeling that my response would be to just yeah. turn around and pee on the person. I'm uh, pretty sure I'd smash his camera. That's I knew that too after I peed on. So he, he had two guys with him, and I mean, it, it was so cringy. It was so cringy. Like the whole thing was just. Uh, but anyways, Doctor yeah, Disrespect. And they, and Tim's yeah. talking about Doctor Disrespect. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah. I just call him Doctor Pennsylvania because it sounds better. Um, but yeah, apparently it was his first, you know, real life stream walking around like that i gotta give it to him uh, whatever they were uh streaming with was was pretty good the dude had a backpack and um i think they're starting to do like uh live tv or live pd i was looking into the equipment that they use man that shit is badass it like bonds like 25 different uh cell cards together mm -hmm. to be able to stream hd live over the air like that really nice. Yeah, so all the cop cars have these, you know, because I, I saw some shots of the cop cars and all the cop cars were either the SUVs or the cars in the trunk. They had all these mounted, you know, that look like little cells. Yeah. And I started looking into it and I'm like, you know, because the stream that comes out of, out of Live PD is pretty good for being live and broadcasting, you know, instantly. And they don't have a, a truck with them or anything. So, uh and they also have a backpack uh, style, but yeah. So what it does is it just bonds all of these, you know, cell phone data providers together, and they shoot all the data through. So, interesting. Nice. Yeah. But I guess that's what you got to do when you want to blast, you know, live HD. God, I don't even. You ma imagine the amount of data that that is. <laughs> yeah. All we got to do is wait for five G. Oh, geez. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah. They did the same thing at 4G. The hopeful specs of 5G is I, a bit 
internet. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll believe it when I'm next to the tower and I can cook my bacon on the tower itself. <laughs> so. so I wouldn't stand that close to the tower. Yeah. All right. I'll believe it when uh, <laughs> you, you put up the antenna at your house and you can power your house with the, with so over I the air. I was going to tell a story there, but I feel like I shouldn't tell that story live. Don't. Maybe later. Don't. <laughs> um, so, yeah, sorry for being later than usual. Yeah. Um, we went. We played musical chairs with who Angsty could hear. <laughs> so we all logged in. Angsty couldn't hear anybody. Angsty logged out, logged back in. He could hear me and Mast. Then Foo logged in, couldn't hear Foo. Logged out again, could no longer hear Mast. <laughs> at Foo's, first, I thought it was because was... we were logged in on this. Sorry, go ahead. I was saying, I thought, at first I thought, because I originally came in on the Plums account. And then I come in and I tell Angsty, I'm like, are you, you're, I'm like, oh, I see what's going on here. You're only allowed to hear one brown person yep. at a time. So then we finally get everything working. Angsty logs out, logs back in, and Fu decided to walk away for a while. And then we're testing. <laughs> <laughs> so he was just gone. He was, I was like, we need was, to check the damn audio. <laughs> he was looking, he was looking was for thirsty. the water. Was, yeah, I need to, I need well, to find my water bottle so I can refill it. So I have a theory about actually what happened here. Okay, you ready? Yeah, hit it. Uh, Sean. And Fu, I I think that we might have been hacked, and that wasn't really angsty. I think it was Puerto Rican angsty. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, hold on, let me click on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this was this was Puerto Rican angsty. I saw him at a gas station, uh, including arm tat, uh, iPod earbuds in his ears. That was strikingly close. At about dude, at about dude. fifty pounds. At about at, at least forty pounds heavier, but that's okay. And, and a few a few more shades of gray or, gray, or of, of darker, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, like you know, just out of the corner of my eye, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> he even had three kids screaming in the car. I'm like, this is like an alternate reality. Like the Matrix is broken in half, and this is the Puerto Rican version of angsty. Like, what's, what's going on? He, he had a goatee. He had a goatee too. What is he so doing? Somebody said it's probably Diet Coke in that cup too. <laughs> One he was, it's got a gasolina. That's what that is. He, yeah, he was getting gasolina. <laughs> he was getting gasolina and yelling at his kids to stay in the damn car. So, get off the dang or, roof! Or, or, or they're gonna get the chancla. <laughs> yeah. No, he had he had boots, man. I'm telling you, oh, it was like the Matrix was the boots, was the leaking boots there. Going. Yeah, the boots are when the chancla doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> the boot the boot stays on the foot while it kicks you. Yeah. Problem. So, yeah, so there you go. what is going on this week now that I am back from LA and about to start hell month of travel? Oh, you have a hell month of travel? Uh, I don't know. It shouldn't, shouldn't all be hell because some of it's vacation, but I'm in Pennsylvania this weekend. I'm in Pennsylvania two weeks from now. I'm in Virginia Beach for a while. I'm in Vegas for a while. I'm in Dublin, mm. maybe. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to be fucking all over the place. All through July and August and June, and into September, it's gonna suck. Oh boy! Traveling every week sucks. Traveling every week to other places sucks. Yeah. This is gonna be the worst one because this this weekend's going to see my family, and that's just gonna really suck. Mm. I love my family, but I don't actually want to go visit them. <laughs> <clears throat> um, well, we when we were having all these these YouTube issues earlier, uh, we also noticed there's nobody in chat, which creeped us out a little bit. Uh, but uh, I wonder if you guys were having problems as well. Uh, normally, there's at least a few people in there chatting before we start, and we yeah. were late. E e either either that or you know YouTube just knocked us off the air. <laughs> and those are the people that are left. It's possible YouTube's like you're not allowed to do this anymore, right? All right, we're tired. We're tired of you. Get out. That was moving to Twitch. <clears throat> they've been uh, they've been doing that um, a lot more often now. now. No, no Twitch. I, YouTube's been, been popping a lot of people um, the, for certain. The other days. show I was supposed to go on tonight was a Twitch show. Oh, he passed oh, on the better, oh, passed the better I've show. I've never done a Twitch show though, so I don't really know what that's like. <laughs> it was not video game related. Hmm. Most of them are, but not all of them. 
Yeah. I think a lot of people are moving to Twitch off of YouTube because YouTube's getting real shitty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so Eddie said there's no show notification until like 9-12. Damn. You know what? I have a very good excuse why that is, okay? Okay. Am I supposed, am I, am I supposed to tell that excuse right now? Yeah, no. I'm not getting to that yet. Fuck. <laughs> Well, I'm how about we do this? How about we, we do uh, a little throwback? Hey, hey, Foo, what you uh, vaping on? Oh, I'm it's vaping early. Like that. DNA 250C with, uh, I'm not used to, I'm not hosting tonight, and it's weird because I'm used to it. Anyway, um, 250C, Narta, Snowdrift. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Uh, so, by the way, I just clicked on you to focus the camera on you. That way you can talk. When I click on you, your thumbnail disappears. <laughs> But you do go on the big cam, so that's good. Got all kinds of shit going on. There's <laughs> some weird shit going on. Oh boy. Um yeah. What are you vaping on, Angsty? Uh this week I've mostly been vaping on, as per usual, my limelight gloom, this little tiny little monkey with a ram board inside and a uh the NAR EA on top. Uh with an omen tip and rail cracker. Get yours today at derailment vape co or vape. Dot co. Um, I always mess that up <clears throat> every time. Um, yeah. uh, the other thing, uh, just like last week, by the way, hello to everybody in chat. We haven't actually said, I, I normally try to say that in there, but I see Addy's in there, Tim's in there, Ken's in there, Tim uh, Duro, Ace, Church is in the house, Stu, Vic. Uh, hello to Berlin. Uh, old, uh, old Tomas is in here. Um, and I was looking for Festy. Surprisingly, Festy's not here because uh, <laughs> I have a funny message for him, but I guess that's the later. Because last week, uh, he he hypothesized something that I couldn't talk about in chat. Uh, mm. but I've also been working on uh, this. My built box is still out. Um, I'm still vaping on this. We have got uh, get pissed in there. Uh, get yours today at stashyliquid.com. Uh, a little splashy splash of abolishment. Um, that is what's in there, and the the reason uh, that I couldn't talk about it last week has been has been lifted, so I can uh, I can talk about what's inside of here later this episode. Uh, Sean, what, uh, what do you have? Nice. Yourself? Completely unrelated and fun side note. Before I get into that, apparently somebody hacked Radiohead, yep. stole <laughs> unreleased tracks. Oh, yep. Pay us one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Hold on, pay us one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and we won't release them. And Radiohead said, eh, we'll just release some public clear ourselves. Yes. And they did. <laughs> Good for Radiohead. Well, did they finally do it? Yeah, I, I heard that they were they were planning yeah, it on it. It's like they put it out themselves. So here's the thing. They, Radiohead already put out an album for free. They, they must not be old enough to remember that. I know, right? 2008. Also. I mean, was a, and it was a good album. This vape tube website makes me want to puke a little bit. It looks horrible. <laughs> Somebody suggested vape tube. It looks really bad. Vape, vape tube. Vape I saw tube. somebody say that. I thought they were joking. No, Wait. it's a thing. I just looked. What? Like vape tube, like for videos? Yeah, it's a thing. Oh god. I mean, you know, we could always do what everybody else is doing. Is it? Know, Wait, like, hang on. Hang on. Open. We could go to Pornhub. Is it? <laughs> like, hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Is vape tube running on Vapor Joe Miners? <laughs> uh, okay. Pornhub will take anybody and monetize anything. So, like, we could always go. So, with so here's the thing: a, they're not going to. Pornhub's not going to monetize vapors. Let's let's be real. It ain't happening. Um, sounds good. Doesn't work. Um, <laughs> We'd have way cooler ads though. But but I'd say vape tube is about as good idea as the vaping dating website. Remember that? I'm pretty sure we talked about wait, it. Wait, wait, which one? Because there was like four of them. I don't yeah. remember, but I remember we were in the hangout and I tried to look for people in my area. I tried to look for hot vaping singles in my area. And that was the weirdest fucking thing. Like, you know, out of There's the dating website for everything though. Yeah. yeah but you know what they should do? Yeah. Vaporstupid.com is a thing. There's also a link like a dating <laughs> UK. <laughs> a vape dating website. You go to a go to a cloud comp, and there's like a hundred dudes and like fifteen. Fifteen? <laughs> no. If you're lucky. Than that. No, no. Fifteen's probably about right. You just got to bear in mind that thirteen were paid to be there. No, <laughs> the fifteen that are there, the fifteen that are there, they're 
my friends are in the competition probably. So, mm. yeah. It, it it's um, Baker's Cupid is no longer online. But the screenshots from this Gizmodo article are funny. Wait, <laughs> Sean, yeah. The Null Party. I'd say that was a fair comparison to my yeah. illustration. <laughs> Um, Actually, no. There were there were there were some. There were a little more females there, but yeah. Yeah. So I have a Bolt V3, and I don't know if I ever showed this one. It's sexy and red. Ooh. Uh, I think you talked about it, but I don't think we saw it. I think I talked about buying it. Yeah. 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 But this one is smooth and not scratchy, and doesn't look dirty all the time. And it's <laughs> quite translucent, which is kind of cool. Like it looks really good. So are you saying that the surface it has a nonstick? Uh, uh, surface on it, so none of the shpuka gets stuck on it? Yep. Okay. Um, and then shpuka. Super Mario Door from PM, <laughs> which is dope, with a Narca, an Omen Tip, um, Abolishment in here. My limelight is gone now, by the way. You what? My limelight is gone. What do you mean it's gone? I just said Ace today, so in maybe uh, like two months. Who's say, who who right am I addressing that card to? So, yeah. He, so he said, I, "If I didn't send it by today, I'd have to wait another month till he shipped it." Mm. So I sent it today. He said he's going to wait, and he said it'll probably take a month or more for the upgrade. So it's going to be gone for a while. Nice. Yeah, but at least it's gone, and you're going to have a RAM afterwards. Yeah. Well, I put everything together last night and realized that the fucking button's being funky again. So it's like, all right, I'm not the only one. Let's do this. Yeah. Screw, screw the MOSFET. It happens to all of them. Yep. Get out. It's it's funky. And the problem is, is like if, if it's acting funky, I can't take it places with me because it's not reliable. Yeah. Is it dedicated wham? Which is why I just well basically <laughs> now, on the upside, I do really like both quite a bit, actually. So yeah. like, I do like this mod. I still like the bolt for the customization stuff quite a lot. But like I'll talk about that later. Like, Mass, what do you got? I got my Orion on like my eighth pod. Uh, with mass T in it. Um, you know, I think I have a theory too of what kills these quickly. Um, I notice a lot of, uh, uh, I notice a lot of um, water build buildup on the inside that just will come back down. Oh yeah. Like condensation. And, yeah. Well, cause the, the tops, I try to clear them. Um, but I think the top has a, it has a lip on the inside. So you can, you go like this, but you can't clear them. So, like, uh, like trying to clear the old, uh, like a Jenny, right? <laughs> to, yeah, shit up. <laughs> yeah, that or or hold it upside down, and blow through the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but that's what I got. Word. Uh, by the way, when we're talking about the dating profiles, uh, uh, Kimmy Vapes is disappointed that you didn't swipe right on her vaping or singlevapers dot com. Mm. Too bad. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure I can't get away with that because married. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna. I don't think I. I don't remember which one we did, but I like. I don't remember why, but I think there were a total of like eight people on the website. <laughs> no, I'm like I, I sh I'm not even shitting you because I like. I was like, okay, yeah. there's no one in my area. Then I expanded the radius. It was like one person. I expanded to like. I don't remember what the parameters were. The greater northeast. <laughs> yeah. Go tri-state. No go. Go East Coast. Yeah, yeah. It was it, it was weird when people were uh, were getting added to that. So, mm. mm -hmm. people. I mean, I'm not going to say getting added to it, but when they were joining themselves to that. So. Oh yeah. Maybe. So, excuse Maybe. excuse why like <clears throat> excuse why no one's watching tonight. Um, yeah, so basically, I didn't make the show until like nine o'clock ish. It was about um, that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it was. I, th I remember it being like eight fifty-eight or something, or eight fifty-nine. But apparently, YouTube doesn't send out notifications immediately. At least uh, I think Tooney said, or someone said, they didn't get one until nine ten or nine o nine. No, nine twelve. Um. Long story short, uh, I've been in the process of selling my house since the end of March, and it got sold. Yay. So, yeah, I'm going to do a new place. Uh, literally, 
And lastly, I was supposed to be moved in here in full on Sunday. Uh, selling a house fucking blows. Uh, I'm sure there are a lot of people in chat who can relate. Selling a house does fucking blow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Basically, I moved in like all of my big shit on Sunday, but I've been sleeping at my house since because, well, we get to empty out the house and do shit and uh, well, I still moved my stuff out because I was helping my sister move her stuff as well. Look, the longer you have a house, the harder it is to move out of it because the more shit you have yeah. accumulated. I'm, I'm not, I'm like, I'd say I'm like ninety three percent moved out. Like, I haven't brought my guitars. Mm. Like, that's the last thing. You know, um, posters, like stuff like that. So this is speaking anyway. of selling houses, right? I sold my house. Close to a year ago now. Fucking, we had a thing called ground rent. Is anybody familiar with that concept? G ground rent? Yeah. So it's like an old World War II thing where the they would build the house. They would make the house cheap, but the bank would still own the land. So, like, you pay, like, 100 bucks a year to rent your land. Ugh. Very strict limits to it. Like you can do whatever you want to the land as long as you don't let it go to hell. But it's like a hundred bucks a year to some bank, right? Wow. So we had that. Sold the house. Apparently, when we sold the house, it never got switched over. So I was at work and I get a phone call from the bank, and they're like, "Hey, you're past due." And I'm like, "I don't own that house anymore." And they're like, "Well, we need information." I'm like, "Yeah, I don't know who you are. You're gonna have to send me an email." And they're like, "We don't email." I'm like, "Then I can't help you." What, what do so you want? Me a letter, and like I need to call them back because I'm like they're threatening to foreclose on the on a house that I fucking no longer own. So like I don't really care if they do it. Foreclose like, away. I don't really yeah. want to fuck over the people who bought it either. Like it's not my problem. But I'm also worried if they like throw it to collection, it'll hit try to hit my fucking credit. So why don't they send the letter to the people who live there since they have? I the don't address? know. Um, well, apparently, they don't know who lives there. I so. That's funny you say that. So I actually ran into the problem with this uh, a while back myself. It kind of sucks. An ex of mine apparently went into like crazy credit card debt. I haven't talked to her in like a decade, more mm -hmm. than a decade. Um, and and my mom was getting calls for her. And my mom was like, I haven't talked to her in like 10 years. I have no idea what you want from me. Go away. Dude, and they no, kept they talking. Go, dude, they go up the olive. They do. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I was really surprised. They're like, Sean, you owe us a bunch of money. And I'm like, I don't fucking own that house. I don't <laughs> yeah. Um, Should have sent them a a, a picture of uh, a picture of uh, of the Google Google Street View. <laughs> Just said, right. not my car. Bleed, in the bleed, driveway. <laughs> right? bleed, bleed rock here. <laughs> Yeah, send, send your guy looking to break knees. Send right there to the address, buddy. Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, check chat. Dude. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, so, the not lint collector bolt. Yeah, I like it. I do. Um, although I realized something, it's got a different, a slightly different five ten version without like the O ring thing on it. Yes, because I was like, "Oh, dude, let me take the brand new five ten from my current bolt and stick it in this bolt. Like, I'll just swap the hardware. It would be great." No, it doesn't work that way um, because the new five ten is a little bit deeper than this five ten, so mm -hmm. like it sticks up. Yeah. The other problem is like something about this thing warped. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit at the top. So it's I can, like, let me click on you. Yeah, it's like I, I can I can see it from here. It's just you know it's a little. It's just a little bit cockeyed, which I didn't really know about. It doesn't really bother me because it doesn't affect the usability at all, other than that a beauty ring won't really go on it. Did, did you buy that from Manny? <laughs> You'd think, right? Like, it's totally got a man. <laughs> Motherfucker, wasn't I talking about moving? That's a throwback. <laughs> I was just like, it got fucking quiet. So it didn't get quiet. Something. I was literally talking about moving, and then he just, like, went... You did, you, did, you did the Sean thing. Shit. I did. I'm good at that, though. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of my thing. Good rail. Anyway, okay. I, was supposed to, I was supposed to, like, move, like, 100% today, right, all my stuff. 
Oh, remember the futon from previous? That's coming here. It's just not going to be in this room. No. <laughs> no, dude. I, if I could fit it in here, I would. To be honest, I can't believe anyway. I can't believe Nick shows up for a many comments. <laughs> <laughs> well timed, right? Right. Probably so, hasn't tuned in in over a year, and just boom, here, here I am, Manning reference, right. <laughs> dude. Like I've had every fucking delay thrown at me since Sunday, and today. Me and my sister had a lot of errands to run. And you knew something bad was going to happen because the first five hours of the day went smooth. Mm. <clears throat> Wait right? for the so shoot. Like, right so, yo, so we're like running ahead, a little bit ahead of schedule. We pick up lunch. We get back to the house. We're unwrapping our sandwiches. And so the water company calls. Why did the water company call? Because they came that this morning to do the final reading, right? Mm. The guys also walked around the premises and such. They could have told us this this morning, and I could have gotten the parts to do it. They didn't call us until lunch. This is like 2 o'clock, late lunch. And they're like, oh, you need to replace your rain sensor and a couple other items. And I'm just like, there are three of us home this morning. Like your go your goons walking around the property couldn't have told us this. So that was a three hour ordeal. <clears throat> and I got my desk set up at literally like eight fifty, and uh, that is why. Um, that's why we we're late tonight. I'm and because YouTube problems. problems. Yeah, YouTube as well. I'm just like, yo, I am so fucking. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm starving right now, too. I got some food after this. I seriously thought I was going to sleep through it. I fell asleep like right when I got home from work. I'm exhausted. You know, barely, you know how barely unpacked I am right now, everybody? The back is not on my chair right now. <laughs> <laughs> the back of my chair is actually right there. <laughs> nice. Hey, you're I, got a these, really I, got these, I got these nuts to latch it on. So, Did you, did you, did you have to take the back off your chair? Well, when I was moving it, yeah. It does make moving easier. Oh, hell yeah. It's so, yeah. It's an audio <laughs> shape. With I, use it to put, I use it to pack, pack stuff on. <laughs> uh, I got like the, um, I got like a, the nine foot U Haul mm. cargo van. I didn't need anything crazy. Yeah. Um, but uh, if, it, yeah. if anybody doesn't know who Lonely Robot is, by the way, you remember, remember those? He's the guy that used to win every giveaway. He's yeah. the guy that yeah. used to win every giveaway. So yes. he is that one, but he is the first person to come up with the outline. Yeah. Like yes. branding or logo. Yeah. Like. Right. But yeah, exactly. <clears throat> it wasn't that particular. That was the stylized one that, that yep. we had done from uh, with Jim. He's the first one to ever do it. And it was old school. Like, do we have an image of that somewhere? We have to have an image of that. Oh, somewhere. wait. It's on my jacket right there. So while you're, while you're looking yeah. that up, there you go. Yeah. That was all of our original swag stuff had like those old school. There's one's uh... so funny, funny story about um, yeah, funny story about uh, Lonely Robot. Um, well, not about him, but so I um, ordered a large display for uh, for one of our store locations and uh, 82 inch, you know, to put big old ice cream on yeah, yeah. and uh and uh best buy apparently decided that they were going to sell stuff that they didn't actually have in stock so they've rescheduled the delivery twice so today i was like dude i'm driving like two hours to this store to wait for you to deliver it it literally says we're going to be there at seven o'clock in the morning it says we'll be there in 10 minutes and then somebody calls and says hello we must reschedule you i'm like motherfucker <laughs> They must have taken some uh, so, lessons from the vaping industry. So, so uh, I get a guy, and, he, and he's he's like a local um, Geek Squad guy, and he's like, yeah, he goes, that don't make sense. He goes, but I do see that they are sold out in multiple places. He goes, I'm going to forward you to the warehouse, and so we can find out exactly if they actually physically have one. So apparently the warehouse is in Texas. And uh, but the guy who I'm talking to on the phone is from it has a, a phone number from Minnesota and he sounds like he's from Minnesota. He goes, so I'm going to give you all my contact info. He goes, but 
Um, and yes, it says it's like a six something area code, six two zero or something. And he's like, and yeah, I sound like I'm from Minnesota and I'm giving you a Minnesota, uh, area code, but we're actually out of Texas. I was like, what? what? I was like, I'm so confused right now. I was like, are you lying to me? Are you catfishing me? me? <laughs> Do you need my social security number too? <laughs> Just get me my fucking TV, my $3,000 TV. And uh, so they, um, you know, but anyways, I thought it was funny because I, I could just imagine someone like uh, Lonely Robot sitting there, you know, working a, a, a work from home job, uh, tech support, you know, saying, please don't come kill me. I'm in Texas, <laughs> even though everything else says I'm in Minnesota. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. That'd be a perfect job when they're under 80 feet of snow. I feel like Minnesota probably doesn't even get summers. It's just always snowing. They get summers. It's about a month long. <laughs> month long. Yo, the Minnesota like legit. It's about a month long. Are, are in first place. I'm pretty Ooh. sure the Minnesota Twins are in first place right now. Something, something's driving me uh, crazy here. Does that window have a screen on it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. I was gonna say, man, you're a brave man. Oh, if I, I didn't I know. That. oh hell, no, no, no. If I knew. Well, hey, I fucking saw this place before. I decided, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rent this. Yeah, so I need a screen, and if it doesn't have a screen, I'll make one. Yeah, because um, <laughs> the these windows fan, the window, these window fans have been in my family for God knows how long. They're fucking fantastic. They're they're homes, homes. Yeah. But I remember they came with an extender, like a slideable one, so you could accordion, like an accordion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I have the accordion piece out, but I don't. I'm we chuck the little like. Walker. Is it is it cool, is it cool enough over there right now to be doing that? Yeah, actually, I'm actually using it to just vent out vape right now. Oh, okay. That's probably yeah, good. I have, I, have, I, have, I have air conditioning coming down from above. Oh, nice. Was, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm probably going to need another shower today. And I took one at 5.30. <laughs> We just need to get you uh, uh, a bathtub that uses that liquid that you that they posted about cooling all the electronics. <laughs> yeah, just, just sit in the bathtub and it'll just you bubble. know yep. bubble, yep. bubble all the heat away. Man's is hot. Man's was hot. Man's, man's was, was the best. I bet man was hot. <clears throat> That's right. So uh, it worked out because uh, the sun had gone down by the time I showed up with all. Well, it was going down, so I didn't die as much. Yeah. Uh, Nick, Nick's saying we call some of our road construction here. That's all right. Because, you know, the month that the snow has gone, you better get your road construction in. Yeah. Well, have. yeah, because the snow isn't covering the 80-foot the potholes that are there. Exactly. From all the, yeah, washout and drain and salt and all the, you know, the snow Dude. tires and blah, 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 blah. Dude, like, I haven't had to transport a computer in a while in a, in a car. And so I took out my video card. You go very slowly. But you know, no, not not even slowly. No, I still drove the way I drove. I had the I had man's played good Tetris in the car, dude. I had yeah. I had it like shock absorbed, so I'm like, I'm just gonna drive when I drive. I got the I got the trap going, man. Oh boy. Here's the problem though. Here's the problem though. Just the end getting off the main road onto the entrance for the highway, now mind you, I'm I only moved like I moved back into Queens, hence the episode name. But like I'm exit twenty five on said highway. This place is off exit seventeen. So, not too too far away. My on ramp sucks. It is yeah. just jacked. It's like cascaded patchwork. Mm. <laughs> and some is broken, and so like you can't you have you can't hit the on ramp at more than like 30, 35 before you get to smooth and like fucking gun it right. Yeah. Because if you do try to gun it, your shit's gonna like you're gonna you, you, you risk a breaking half. Yeah, or skidding. We have a we have a we have a bridge here that goes over the St. John's River, and uh, it's a it's a long stretch. And if you hit it just right, the the concrete is like wow wow wow, and you start oscillating. Man, it's yeah. funny watching trucks with trailers, and they're all like, <laughs> "Wee!" I'm like, "Y'all better slow the fuck down." I'm not doing ninety. Uh, Tomas says here in Berlin, road construction is twenty four seven, three sixty five. That's the same as it is here in Texas. 
Uh, but uh, but I'm a little surprised you put 24 7 365. Aren't you guys on the metric system? Uh, that that okay. seems awfully empirical to me, uh, Mr. Sir. <laughs> Speaking of, um, did you uh, did you guys see the? Uh, this to me still, uh, I wouldn't say surprises surprise me because I've seen some funny stuff posted on Reddit like this, but. A uh, guy posts and he says, hey, is this some of what people buy for wicking? Also, is it any good? And he posts a picture of that. Yeah, sure. Like, in, in this day and age in the vaping world, like, why the fuck would you be using those for wick? Because some people haven't graduated to bougie or cottons. Because it's cheap and it worked well. I mean, it's not yeah, trying to got the job done. Like, the, there have been times where... <clears throat> yeah, but th this was... <laughs> You, yeah. you gotta you gotta remember, right? So a new person gets into vaping now. There are a myriad of options out there for cotton, that right? Is exactly they, like that, except shadow. That's much cheaper. Okay. No, that's the thing. Most people I know don't use it, but I just wouldn't think that they would go and and search that out. You know, instead of just. Kimmy and Duro said, hey, I use that. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was the, I used that dead set I mean, until Chato. I'm just talking I mean, about, I hated it. you know, now. But anyways. Hated it, hated it. Yeah, especially when you got stuff like cotton bacon that's been around for a minute. And, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you talk about all the options you've got that's like for vaping. Is that what you're talking about, Master? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one guy, one guy said in the uh, in the comments, "Yeah, I bought two bags five years ago. I still have one point five bags." <laughs> wait, 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 who said so? Luisimo, you said I still use Muji. Is that the same company that makes the pens? Because I did rock those pens for <laughs> quite a while. Muji pens? Oh no, no, I think they're M O O J I. Mm -hmm. So Muji is the stuff I bought the the supplier to Muji off of eBay. I found that guy. Oh God! When was that? That was back when I got the first Uber toot. You remember that far back? The guy that that wouldn't let me buy it. Remember the Uber toot number one that he that he sent over? Um, he sent some of this with me with it, and it was really good. And that's the stuff that I that I used when I ran out of shadow back then. I would use some of that. It, it worked all right, especially when I was testing Addies and stuff, and I was ripping out builds all the time, and I didn't want to use my shadow. It worked pretty well. I can't. I have no idea. I haven't used it in such a long time. I have no idea where it is. But I used to get the little things off of eBay, and it just had a little, uh, you know, like three Japanese characters on the on the thing, and it was better than that puffs. I hated the puffs. I tried puffs. I tried Kogendo. I didn't like either of those really. The I mean, they functioned, but I didn't like them. The Kogendo. Yeah. I, I tried. Uh, I tried the uh, big ass box of rayon. Uh, the cotton and you boil it and mm -hmm. put it in a plastic bag. Fucking pain in the ass. I've still got some. I kept I kept my my quart size thing of my my boiled and lightly like not toasted but dried in the <laughs> oven, at like 180 degrees. You know, just to get it dried out. I've it's got stupid. cotton balls. I've got what what did Grim use the the uh, peaches and the, cream uh, yarn? Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah, the I yarn. Know. They were fucking vaping damn yarn. All of one time before I was like, I wonder if I could just skip the boiling and if it's okay. It takes me back to Mitch Hedberg. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I, I did. Fried I, beans once, but I'd like to try fried beans. You, because you want. Be good and we're you, in time. <laughs> you, want, you want funny looks from your significant other or, you know, or a friend or something. Be boiling cotton on the stove. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like. They they've just fucking gone off the deep end. I mean, and and I guess worse than that is is buying quartz uh, rods mm -hmm. to put in. You know, let's put some fucking glass in this. I dude, it doesn't like it's a popular. It's popular in the marijuana business with juice. It's like, what is what is a fucking like what 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 kind of atomizer would you use quartz in like drippers what. Horse, horse glass is popular in marijuana as a wick. The quartz rods. Okay, because yeah, these these were just the straight you know rod. I mean, yeah, it wasn't wicking anything. It was just people were just dumping the shit right on it. So, yeah. but yeah, 
Just canthal, man. Just fucking canthal. Can't forget the XC. Oh. Yep. Eco hey, quartz. back far enough. Uh, that too. So Indy, no, it was it was not a quartz rock, a quartz rod. Yeah. It was an actual rod, cylindrical rod of quartz. It was roughed they, up on the outside, right? And they said yeah. it was wicking. I never tried it. Yeah. And you would you would build the coil around it. So yeah, yeah, just a piece of quartz. There you go. Yep. <clears throat> never tried it. I did do uh uh, what was was it Kent that did the uh, the auto wicking coil mm -hmm. with no with no wick? Yeah, sideways. Yeah, it was basically a Clapton that he built like right on the deck. Mm -hmm. He was using the the Clapton's uh, yeah. surface to uh, to do stuff. I actually tried that back in the day. That was the first uh, Clapton I ever made, like in 2013 yeah. or something, maybe 2014. I forget. It was a long time ago. Yep. Um. <laughs> Awesome in theory, awful in execution, just like most of the painting industry. That's right. <laughs> Pretty good. True. Hey, look at all this vaping talk we're doing tonight. This is fantastic. No, I have fun vaping talk. Uh, I do too, uh, but you go ahead. That's fine. Do so it. last week was a lot of fun. And while I was somewhere for work, it actually led to some cool vaping related news. Mm -hmm. And that's that I got to fucking hang out with Nareg from Narmonts. Hey, I video chatted you, you bastard. You did. You did. That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very, like, kind of quiet and nice guy. Just like he is on Facebook. I know, right? Mostly quiet. He's nice guy. But, like, we've never talked to him, like, voice to voice before, right? Right. So it was interesting. And it was a lot of fun. And I was like... I was talking to him about, like, how he does this shit in California because California is so fucking expensive. Mm -hmm. So many laws. Uh, you know, it can get pretty dicey if I miss a release. Mm. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. I get that. Um, but just super fucking nice dude, man. Like, so I'm on a fucking expense account. We go out to this like nice like uh, Thai restaurant or whatever. He orders just all this shit, and I'm like, dude, I just wanted the wings. He's like, no, try some of this stuff too. So we go through it, and I'm like, let me cover at least half of this or more because I'm on an expense account. He goes, nope. I got it. I'm like, dude, I'm on an expense account it's not coming out of my pocket. He goes, I don't care. I'm paying for it. He's, he's like, yeah, I, I, I need expenses too. <laughs> yeah, like it's right off, baby. I took yeah. Sean out on an expense account. He made no insistence on paying. So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's different. He gets it. Um, but super nice. Anything. We were at the diner. It was like a $25. Yeah. <laughs> The place was so cheap and the food's so good. He's a super nice dude. Like we had a lot of fun. Um, very enjoyable time in general. And like I got to FaceTime him. Yeah, I love the guy for a long time, like, and even more so now. Like I'm excited to go back out in like six weeks and try to hang out again and do something again. Because I gotta go out there like every six weeks. That's pretty awesome. I haven't been out there and working a long time. Yeah. And then the problem is he always feels so bad about it, right? Like because yeah. he's like he was running late because of traffic. He's like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, it threw off his whole night. He's like, I'm like, dude, it's fucking traffic. Like, it's okay. I'm not in a hurry. He goes, well, I know you're it's hungry. Like, you didn't eat since the morning. I'm like, dude, it's okay. It's traffic in California. It's ca it's traffic not. in LA. It's going to be yeah. like that. LA is a really weird thing because this is the last time I went, I was really fucking sick. This time, <clears> you know, I was actually okay. So I got to do stuff, including make bad decisions like buy a Surface Pro. <laughs> so, <laughs> It's a cool piece of technology, though, and I, I didn't take a personal laptop with me. It was bothering me. Um, but that being aside and completely irrelevant, California is a very weird place because, like, I live in an expensive area, right? Like, Northern Virginia is kind of expensive. Because uh, the government's always in business. Yeah, but here's yeah. the thing. Like, Northern Virginia is expensive, but, like, where I live, it's expensive, but everything is new and everything is nice. Like, there are sprinklers on the side of the road. Like, everything is super nice and well upkept. LA is really expensive and kind of dirty. Like, uh, place parts of it are for sure. Yeah. It's also, it's also a desert. It is a desert. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah the like, northeast is a northeast, if I remember correctly, Earth Science is a dense forest. I was just like off the beach most of the time I was there. Yeah. I didn't really get to go to the beach, except for the like the first two days I, I was at an event down at Redondo Beach, 
So like I at least got to see the water and stuff. But like other than that, um, not really. But like yeah, it's it's a much older town, and I'm like, mm-hmm. damn, shit's so expensive. And then traffic, man, like traffic here is bad. But I was going four miles to a fu- the fucking mall up by Beverly Hills or whatever, and it's four miles away from my hotel. Fucking took like forty five minutes to get back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jesus Christ, it's four that fucking sucks. miles. That's the worst. We're on the four hundred five. <laughs> I wasn't even on a highway. It was like all back roads. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, get this. Okay, here's my hot take. Driving around to LA, like LA is just one big Brooklyn. Huh? <laughs> I actually LA is probably a little bit worse than that, but Brooklyn is like some of the worst is probably the worst driving you can do in the city outside of like the Cross Bronx. It's oh yeah. Kind of, prob- yeah, the problem that's, that's why is I, I, highways. I don't understand around. how I don't understand how all these all these people um have you know, Tesla's out there and they're just letting autopilot go on the highway. I mean, I know it's meant for the highway, but dude, I would, I would have to be sleeping because I could, I could not stand that, you know, because it's, I I could not sleep (laughs) doing that shit, man. Here's the thing. It's full of a bunch of bad drivers because I lived in Maryland for a long time, but they're not very aggressive, but they're bad drivers. Virginia is full of a bunch of aggressive but relatively good drivers. So, like, they're aggressive, but they kind of know what they're doing. You know what I mean? L.A. is full of a bunch of aggressive and really fucking bad drivers. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, they're all, it's they're all Asian. every 50 feet because everybody's like, slam on the gas and try to cut in, but then they hit people. And they have student driver, they have student driver stickers on their car. <laughs> so, what I was up, what? Start over Sorry. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I was out in LA for like a month, uh, uh, almost straight, and then I was there every week after that too. But one of the first things that I remember was getting there is is our hotel that we were staying at was right kind of across uh, across four or five from where my uh, client was. Oh, that can't be good. The the two brown men left. That's no good. <laughs> Just in case, it's been a good show, everybody. Thank yeah, you. Bye. <laughs> oh, he's back. What the fuck? Oh, son that? of a bitch. Now I can't. <laughs> Hold on. Foo, talk. He was talking. I can't hear him. <laughs> did, did you hear that, Sean? Oh, God. I hear you. Oh, good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm too tired. All right. Well, this I'm too tired. Well, maybe we should wait until Massey comes back, and I'll try to force refresh. Yeah. So finish okay. your story. Not, not to, not yeah. To, so not to be- I, the, one of the first things I remember is you could see bumper to bumper traffic on the 405 at like 11 o'clock at night. Was it just me, like, or did everybody? Traffic drop? is really bad in North oh, Texas for sure. Like it's bad, but <laughs> it's bad at like between four and seven, right? Like or even four and six in some places. It's the same here. And right after after that, it's usually pretty good unless there's construction or something, right? There's an accident. But there, it's like just fuck, just whatever. It's just fucking traffic. All right, I'm gonna try refreshing so I can hear the two of these jerks. Yeah, he can't hear either of you again. Okay, I'll be right oh, back. Well, I I got wait, kicked and it. Wait, I got. Shit. Apparently, so did, 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 wait, did, did, wait, did yeah. Angsty just talk? Did Angsty just talk about Dallas traffic? No, and no one heard it. Oh, I Don, I got wait, hold on, Sean. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Got all. Hold on, we have a different problem. <laughs> what? A couple people are saying nobody can uh, hear us on fucking chat. <laughs> yeah, well, they couldn't hear us a minute ago because I was, I was, I couldn't hear him either, right? I got, I got kicked, and it said the, the, the phone call ended. <laughs> so yeah, me too. Me, me too. It says I was like, uh, you know, honestly, I thought, Nick- I thought for a minute that. I thought for a minute that my that my connection went shit for a second. I'm like, uh oh. Yeah, that's sorry. what I. That's sorry what, that I'm glad. Sorry that I'm glad it's the show and not. That's yeah. a, that's what I. Yeah. That's sorry, what I like we're back. It's really interesting about this. I'm looking at the Discord channel for that other show I was going to go on tonight, and somebody just left a message that said voice just crapped out. Internet <laughs> <laughs> uh, wide. Um. Was there anything else you were wanting to follow up with about the Nurek story? No, man, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, the FaceTime chat. Like he was a fun dude. He was. It was fantastic. I was really uh, that was that was awesome. But no, mm-hmm. got stuff. Go for it. Mm. We got to get so, this through before YouTube kicks us again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, the reason, as uh, as Festy, who is not here this week, 
the reason is uh, I do have a new atomizer in here. Um, so this was late last year. I got a phone call uh, over Facebook from Australia. And, and this very <laughs> friendly person whom I've spoken to a lot before and since uh, was wanting to make a new thing. And he was one of our ideas. We kind of talked through the design and that kind of thing. And, and I was very uh, honored to have him ask uh, my opinion, which is great. I really appreciated it. Um, so the guy behind Haku, his name is Steven, uh, he is releasing a new atomizer. And this is it. It is in here. Now, this is a beta version. And it's not even beta. This is like pre-alpha, pre-prototype. -pre but it is a functional prototype. And I've been using it for like the last couple weeks or so since it came in. Um, and uh, and I just want to say before I do anything else, thanks for Stephen asking my opinion. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun uh, helping uh, whatever I was able to do talking through things and now actually having used it. Uh, it's awesome. So let me talk about the Haku Zeta. Z, excuse me, X-E-T-A. Um, and of course, since <clears throat> they're a, a colony, uh, they, they say the word beta, they say beta. So it's the Zeta Beta is what I've got here in this thing. And uh, and yeah, you're right, Tim. Uh, it does look big. Um, and, and Sean commented on this and, and accurately. So it does it does look like a really big thing there. But apparently Mr. Todd uh, was given permission to actually talk about this and release a preview video on his channel um, talking about this thing. And uh, one of the things that he did talk about was the capacity. So even though it looks big, he said he measured it and he was able to get four mil in there. So if you get four mil, that's pretty close to right at where the exoset is. I think the exo can hold with the exo in there. I think it's like 4.3, 4.5, something like that. It's just another few drops, really. Um, so that's cool. Um, so I do want to, because of the live sort of format here on the show, it's going to be really difficult for me to break down a billet box hatty and show you all the pieces. So what I thought I would do is ask you to go give, oh, shit, did Foo leave again? He thought you were out of sync, but now you're probably not going to be able to hear him. Now I can't hear him anymore. I didn't say anything nope. yet. Uh, Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. Well, um, so oh, what? he left. He needs to things that irritated the, that. So I watched. I watched all of Todd's video, right? And it was. Uh, oh, the, but, but okay. let's not get in there. Let's get the audio fixed and then and then talk right. about it. <laughs> Hold on. Go I'll, I'll refresh and we'll see if this works. Can, can anyone else hear me? I hear you. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, you can't leave. I'm too tired and hungry for this shit. All Check. right. I got Fu, Massey. Check. Hello. Oh, uh, good. Okay. So instead of trying to. Game do... on. Game on. Yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> so instead of trying to do a live build of a billet box, Eddie, which would be a mess and a pain in the ass, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a few shots from Todd's video. I do encourage you to go watch his whole video. I will post the link in chat for you to do so at your leisure. It's not a long one. It's only 11 minutes long. But and it's not a real review. It's just a preview. There's something to know about. <clears throat> but if you're expecting him to come through and talk about how much he liked it or didn't like it, you're going to be disappointed because yes. I was. Yes, because it's a preview, because it is a prototype. Um, so I'm going to share my screen thoughts on the device whatsoever. Yeah, it's totally just a show and tell kind of thing, right? So I'm going to share my screen. Tell me when it comes up, please. Hopefully it doesn't crash Hangouts or some shit. I see Todd's face. Look at that adorable man right there. And then, oh, oh I messed it up. Oh, I had, oh, no. I had a face all paused. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I had a really funny face. A really good pause from him, too. Oh, bummer. Yeah, no, there, there. Just... Oh, we'll keep that one. That, it's, that's kind of like the right one. Angsty, you can penis through it at slower speeds. <laughs> I get, yes, I can scrub through it, I know. Um, so there's that. Uh, what I want to show you is some of the pieces. So one of the things that's so cool about this thing, and one of the reasons I'm kind of excited about it, is how ridiculously customizable it is. So everybody can empathize with having to go and buy an Addy and... And if you're anything like most of us, especially me and Sean here, uh, we have very particular tastes when it comes to airflow. Um, that is one of the things that this thing does really, really well. Um, so I'm going to present myself, present to everyone so it can do the big screen. 
So one of the things that this thing does really, really well is it customizes your airflow, but not with like a little, you know, threaded thing that kind of covers up air holes or whatever. It actually does it in a really, really clever way. Um, so it's got the normal airflow here that, you know, where everything comes into, but they're here at the bottom of the deck. And I'll show you a shot here in a second of it. Uh, you thread in one of these little buttons. Uh, there's a redonkulously tiny one that's like golf ball through a, uh, a garden hose kind of thing. And then there's kind of a normal dual one. And then there's a quad one, which is like, I think it's, it's probably around 2.8 mil ish is what it felt like to me. You know, that kind of a feel, it was less than an Uber toot, um, but you know, wide open. And then there's one that's uh, you just don't put one in there, right? You can actually leave it kind of wide open, uh, which is how I'm running it right now because that's kind of how I like it. So you've got the direct airflow and one of them, the little four hole is true uh, diffused airflow. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's it's actually like four holes hitting the coil. And that one does work really well, by the way. I used that one first, and it was just a too restrictive for me, but, um, but I really but did like it. But anyway, so I dropped that out of there. But the other thing that you can do is over here, these threaded uh, little grub screws, they kind of look big. The reason is that they thread into the chimney. So you've got restricted down to how you, however you like it coming out of the deck, hitting your coil. But then it doesn't just blow up this giant tube going up to your mouthpiece. It actually is restricted there as well, uh, which I think is really clever. So he, the one that I got is very similar to Todd's. There's three different ones. One of them is ridiculously tiny. And then there's one that's pretty much wide open. And then there's one kind of in the middle, um, which I also found useful. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you is how the, uh, the posts work. So one of the reasons that the, the ad is a little bit bigger um, it's got these really clever, like Haku uh, style posts, which is really nice for a billet box addy. It makes the thing really build easily. Um, I really, really liked it. Um, it's got kind of like this reverse clamping action here. So you actually screw the, the, the grub screw in and it raises up the bottom little clamp and then you, uh, un un you unthread, so to speak, the, the grub and it clamps it straight down. It makes mounting a coil that easy, it goes right in there. Um, the next, the last thing I want to show you is the side of the deck. Here's he's, he's showing you the uh, there's the threaded chimney, and here's the different sizes of the uh, things. Well, he's got two of them upside down. <laughs> That's okay. You can kind of see. You can obviously see the really super tight one there in the middle. Um, but I do want to show you the side of the deck because the side of the deck is really trick. Um, Talk about the little screw. Yeah, there's the little buttons. I call them. That's why I call them airflow buttons. And they thread in here right in the middle where you can see that he's put that in there's got a little flathead screw thing and i'm going to scrub through here and here's the here's the thing going up and down which is cool this is the last thing i wanted to show you right here so on the side where you would have the exoset style wicking coming out the side it's got a grub screw there so you can actually have that thing screwed all the way down and then kind of have exo style wicking or you can actually unthread this up and block off more of the uh, the wick channel. So if you're running something that's heavy PG, something high VG, or something high NIC and heavy PG that you want to uh, mouth the lung, that uh, that lets you do that, right? It closes down that wick hole a little bit, so that way you can uh, not flood your attic, or you can screw it all the way down and have it there. There's a there's a shot of it if you wanted to uh, to have it restricted down or thread it all the way down. It's freaking sweet, man. And there's a bunch of little things in here that I don't want to go into too much detail, but I will show you this on the side. These little side bit that uh, that's got the, the, the like 60 70 percent thread there. Um, that's keyed into the into the outer barrel of the of the thing, which is awesome because uh, it makes it not rotate around and spin and screw yourself up, uh, which is really cool, man. Uh, and of course, it also has five ten threads on the bottom, so you can pulse your coils and stuff, kind of like the Exocet did. This is, in my opinion, one of the coolest addies I've ever gotten to test. It's got a lot of really nice features. It's got a really a lot of really thoughtful things that went into the design. Um, and I'm not going to try to go into all of it at the moment, um, but I do. I did want to show it to you, and I did want to tell you I will. It, the 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 most of a review that I'm going to go into now because this is a prototype again, prototype. And any of that stuff can change that I just showed you. The only reason I got to show you is because Steven said that I could show you and Ted said that Todd can show us. Um, I wanted to show it to you because I'm excited about it, but don't think that the whole thing could change tomorrow, right? I mean, like in theory, it could change. In fact, there's a couple of really key things that I've suggested that he does that he's gonna be incorporating and changing stuff around. 
Um, so I'm very excited to try that thing out. You should be to to be perfectly honest. It's 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 quite good. That's 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 the uh, that's the review that I'll give right now. Is is I am personally quite enjoying the vape that I'm getting out of it, and I love the idea of how customizable this is to not only about three different wicking methods, uh, but also just different styles of vaping that it all supports in one Addy. Pretty cool, I, man. I like the perfect test case, though. If it can make me not hate the billet box. Here's the problem, though, Sean. What's that? The problem is, is it's still a billet box Addy, and you're going to hate it. It's very possible, but I'll try it. <laughs> the problem is, is all the stuff that I have sitting now, I don't, I'm not enjoying the vape from any of it either. So, oh, is that right? Yeah, like the vape shell, any of that stuff. Like, I'm not really enjoying that vape. Yeah, I, I, as much as I like the person that I got to deal with on the other end of the vape shell customer service, I did, I did, they were very friendly and I got my problem taken care of. They were great and it works, but it's not, I didn't really like it. I, I love the Exocet and I didn't really care for the vape shell. I was never liking the Exocet well enough. Yeah. Like it was okay. I'd be. I'm interested to try this because I think I had. There were some things I didn't like about the set that, that might fix. Well, and I don't. I will say because I, I. I don't think I'm supposed to talk about price yet, but what I will say is the nice thing about Haku as a company is they always try really hard to make sure that everybody that wants one of their headies can have one. Mm -hmm. Like they. They really just they chunk them out uh, as fast as anybody wants to buy them. So. It's not. It may not be something that you can just roll down to your corner store and buy. Okay, it's not quite like that. But they really do pump out a lot of atomizers. Uh, I don't know how yeah, many. Yeah. I don't know how many Venas and and Phenoms and stuff are out there, but it's got to be a bitch load. <clears throat> Smart method for like selling things and making sure that there's enough to sell. Right. Like that's a smart business method. It is. Well, you, and you have to be able, right? You have to be able to do that. That's right. Not to knock the individuals who aren't able. Right. Maybe a little bit of a knock on the people who like pur purposefully don't. Right. It's one uh, thing if you purposefully don't. It's another thing when you're one man. Yep. Right. But Stephen is was able to leverage some uh, familial relationship, you know, connections. I guess is a good way to put it. Sure. And pump out a lot of volume that a lot of other companies can't do. Yeah because they don't have those connections and it's, it costs a lot of money to make a product. Products are expensive. Yeah. You don't say. <laughs> what? Some well, it, was, uh, it was another one of those interesting things that kind of, I was chatting with Nareg about it. So like, yeah, he goes, yeah, whenever I do a release or something, it's great. But prototyping and designing new stuff. So like he was t talking about like the EA, he's like, you know, that's thousands of dollars that you will never, ever see. Yeah. yeah, tens of thousands of dollars you will never ever see because fucking it breaks. Like, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. I know he's not. I know he's from he's from California, but he needs to not operate in California. Yeah, that's probably not untrue. But I mean, I understand why he still does because he probably you know you got your connections, you got your people around you. Yeah, yeah you got, your people around, got your family there probably. You know all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff, right? Anyway, we got anything else, or is that it? Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, I don't want to get into too much detail on it. I will say that I talked about the supply thing. The other thing is uh, Haku's prices have always been really competitive. Um, they're not they're not the kind of you know put out a two hundred dollar dripper kind of company. Yeah, they have been decent. Yeah, <clears throat> that's right, Dura. You have to factor it in the price of your item. You do, but it's upfront costs, right? It's costs that you have to pay out of your out of your own pocket, hoping to recoup them. Uh, on a in, in general, they do get factored into the cost of the item, and then everybody complains about the item being too expensive because they mm -hmm. factored in that to the cost of the item. Right. So there's literally no way you win when you fucking make boutique things in not China. So, Tim, yes, the answer is, uh, again, it's a prototype, but I'm still vaping it. He hasn't asked me to continue to test it, and I'm still vaping it. It's that good. It's, it's that good. So I think when uh, the the final feedback that I've given him and Todd's given him, and I think I think he may have sent it to one or two other people um, that all vape differently. He he picked me because I vape like he does, and he picked Todd because he's a clouds bro. <laughs> Is he really a clouds bro now? I've lost respect. He, he was running it wide open, man. Like he, he always does. does. Aren't you? What's that? I figured you'd be using one of the smaller pipes. I tried so the the quad 
diffused airflow one. I did try that one first, and it is good, but it's just a hair too restrictive. I wanted just a little bit more air. Are you using so, any of the pipes or none? Yeah, so I did. I am using the top uh, airflow, the chimney reducer. Okay, I'm I using like the largest one. That. I end up with too. Yeah, but I did. I did drop the buttons out of the uh, the bottom. Got gotcha. you. Um, and it's it's just about right. It's got enough of a drag. I mean, it's enough of a pull to where I like it. But how tight? Wait, so is the, is the diffused airflow one the tightest one? No, that's not the tightest. That's, that's the that's the loosest button. The tightest one looks like a fucking pinhole. Yeah, the tightest one. I I don't don't quote me on this number because I don't know. But looking at it, it looks like 0.8 mil. Like it looks really tight. <laughs> I mean, it brings the billet box back to what it was originally, which is a mouth to lung atomizer. Right, with a cardo for sure. Nope. Yeah, because so, yo, if that's the case, I may actually end up getting a billet box if this Addy if, if I don't like it angsty you have to buy it off of me. It, hey here's the thing the the just box. wait like the three box. weeks after Todd or after uh, Sean gets it and he'll be selling his billet box with it because <laughs> you have to get your fingers sticky <laughs> or I'll just give it to you I haven't really sold anything in a long time like I got a bunch of shit I don't even use anymore that I haven't sold. Yeah, I've got a pile of stuff I just don't use that I haven't sold it. So, I'm really sad because in packing all my shit. So basically, most of like 90% of my vape shit has been under my bed for the last like 2 months. Yeah, right. Cuz you've just been using my CA or the the uh TA. Which which would have been the case anyway. I feel like if not, like maybe I would have been running the K fund. I just Everything is just too goddamn stressful to think about running another atomizer. So I'm just like, let's just go one juice, one atomizer. It's fine. I can jam. I can jam snow drift for fucking ever. Yeah, I so, pretty much do one juice, one atomizer, one mod, and then I just have a bunch of other shit sitting around. No, I am craving like pissed. Like I need to clean out my K fund and get some pissed and throw that in there. And when like when the RAM board comes back, I'll probably switch back to that. But for now, the bolt works okay. Yeah, uh, Tim, proper MTL. Yeah, dude, it would be like, the, I think by, by just looking at it, I'm assuming you have to vape and make this face. I'm assuming that's the way you have to vape that. That's how um, I to vape, man. Ken, I mentioned earlier, uh, but Todd measured that because it does visually look like a big Addy. He said he, he was able to fit four mil. So four mil uh, versus the Exocet, which, ha which handles a little bit more than four. It's like 4.2 or 4.4. Something like that. It is a little bit more in the XO, but uh, not it's much. The old deck. What, what was the comment that I said to you when we were talking about it in right. chat? It's the same. So I said the I same thing to you as I said. And a lot of juice in the billet box. You get one or the other, kind of. That's right. I said I said the same thing to you as I said to Stephen when I made the same comment to him. I said you have you you get you make a trade off. You make you make you can hold slightly less juice, but you get a way nicer build deck. Yep. So it's a little bit of a trade off, but if it held like two mil. I think it would be a problem, but it's four versus four point three or whatever. It's oh, fine. Dude. It's, it's like ten drops of be liquid different. It's fine. But here's the th yeah, because that's the thing is that it could if if that Addy is what I hope it is, then I got myself a nice going out mod. Mm -hmm. Yep. I would absolutely get a. I, I would do it because you you know you know my criticism has been. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would definitely consider it if it was if it made decent for me. Uh, yeah. So. I think you're going to be happy with the product, and I think you're going to be happy at the price point. Nice. I'll put it that way. So um, I have one other note before we end. Yeah. Um, and I just think it's worth mentioning, and I'm going to post the link to this in Plumes just because I want more friends online. Um, fucking come play Dauntless, man. It's dope. Brian <laughs> and I were playing last night. It's basically like nothing but boss fights where you fight giant fucking monsters, and it's dope. And I would like to play with less randoms and more people that I know. So I'm going to post a link to it in the Plumes Facebook group. And it's free, completely, and dope. I, it is. It, it was. I did have a good time with it. I can, I can see very quickly that that is a game I would not enjoy if I wasn't playing with friends. Yes. If I'm playing with friends on voice chat, a lot more fun. I have genuinely kind of enjoyed it playing with randoms just because I like the like fast paced boss battle kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, um, by the way, uh, Lonely, it is uh, cross platform, yes. Yeah, you can play on PS4. Oh, you play? Yeah, we can cross platform. Dude, you got to get me an account so I can add you as a friend. Send me a fucking Facebook message with your shit. I think we're going to play some more tonight. So, like, you should send it to me and we can play. 
And fucking, yeah. I love playing games with Wetrick because he's better than everybody at them. <laughs> Not Rocket League. Well, I mean, that's because you, there's like a minimum thousand hours required to play Rocket League well. No. I'd say after about 50 hours, it gets to be, you, you start to enjoy it. And then you play a guy like Matthew who can take all of you, who can take eight people and beat them by himself. No, he's not that good anymore. Did you see what he said? Guess guess what his account name is. Just guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to think about that. I think I'm going to play some Rocket League tonight because uh, it's been a few days. I need four, though. Like, Ooh, I just realized I'm hosting, so I get to close out. You do. Thank you, everybody, for coming out to join us this week. Uh, we had a good time. I had a good time. Sean, I'm glad you came by. Fu, always good to have you here. Uh, and Masty, yeah. wherever you are, we love you yeah. as well. Fucking dead. Uh, bye. <laughs> we will see you guys next week. Later on. Peace. Bye-bye.